What if you could reprogram your own DNA and reset your biological clock to restore youthful function at the genetic level? This may sound impossible or futuristic, but it's not. Professor Vladimir Kovinson has spent decades researching a breakthrough in epigenetics, one that has already been tested in elite athletes, military personnel, and longevity studies. 97% of your DNA is controlled by epigenetics. They're switches that turn on and off based on your environment, diet, stress levels, and even your emotions. But what if you could flip those switches in your favor? What if you could activate the genes of youth, healing, and peak performance so that your body functions in a more youthful and functional state? It turns out there's a way. It's called Covenson's peptides. And today, I'm gonna show you how they can optimize your body, enhance your brain, and even reverse biological aging at the DNA level. These peptides were created out of a dire need during the Cold War, as Soviet soldiers stationed in nuclear missile silos, submarines, and high radiation environments began showing signs of rapid aging at an alarming rate. Their DNA was breaking down, telomeres shortening, and cells losing function. The Kremlin was desperate for a solution, so they contracted a young scientist, Professor Vladimir Kovinson, and his team to search for a solution which was found in short, naturally occurring peptides. And the results were that these peptides reversed the DNA damage and restored gene function to a youthful state, which facilitated healing. They became a secret in Soviet military medicine used to increase soldier resilience, boost intelligence, and extend career longevity. Fast forward a few decades, and Olympic athletes were using these same peptides. Russian's rhythmic gymnastics team won five consecutive gold medals, and according to Irina Viner, the team's head coach, Kovinson's peptides were a big part of their routine. Because these peptides could enhance recovery, optimize muscle efficiency, and sharpen mental focus by working at the genetic level, scientists have measured biological age reversal in human trials as well. One such study shows two peptides reverse biological age by 12.8 12 12 years. And ongoing trials in humans, led by Dr. Bill Lawrence, shows confirmed epigenetic age reduction on the gold standard DNA methylation test created by Stephen Horvath. But in order to understand how these peptides work, we need to understand epigenetics. Think of your genes like important documents stored in a folder on your desk. If the folder is open, you can access the documents, read the instructions, and use them. But imagine someone stacks heavy books on top of that folder. The more weight that's added, the harder it is to open, and eventually it gets locked shut. This is exactly what happens with aging. Over time, your DNA gets buried, trapped in tightly packed chromatin, making critical genes inaccessible. And this is where Covenson's peptides come in. They literally remove the weight, releasing the trapped genes, allowing your body to read the instructions again. With the folder open again, your cells can resume producing the proteins needed for regeneration, healing, and peak performance. Look, understanding this at a deep level puts you ahead of 99% of people, including many so-called experts, who have no clue how to actually apply peptide science. But that's exactly why I put together my Peptide Mastery course, a complete breakdown of how to use and dose 72 different peptides with precision that will allow you to heal your body, mind, and enhance longevity. Just go to peptides.link mastery. Hi, Brendan Henry here. If you're finding this video valuable, I highly recommend grabbing a copy of my book, Peptide Salvation. I have made absolutely sure that Peptide Salvation is the most helpful and accurate book on peptides ever written. I wrote it because over the past year, I've heard guys say, Brendan, your peptide mastery course is too expensive and I don't have $1,000. Well, consider this my gift to you and our gift to anyone who wants to learn about the life-changing magic of peptides. Because now you can get what is, in some ways, an upgraded version of my course, Peptide Mastery, at a fraction of the price. But that's not the only reason I wrote this book. I was looking for someone, anyone, who could share accurate, meaningful information about peptides, only to end up completely disappointed. I bought every single peptide book published on Amazon, only to find they were like primitive cave drawings, filled with incorrect science and dangerous misinformation. If you've seen our Science Check articles, you already know how other so-called experts stack up. But I have made absolutely sure peptide salvation is scientifically flawless, with more citations to real scientific research than any other peptide book ever published. Now to be clear, if you want bonuses, advanced protocols, and lifetime free updates, Peptide Mastery is for you. But make no mistake, aside from this, Peptide Salvation is the single best peptide resource available, bar none. Just click the link in the description to get your copy now. Covenson's peptides can assist your body's own ability to regenerate organs, reverse signs of aging, and inhibit tumorogenesis. They have been shown to support brain function, including in neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's, improve mood, support the management of diabetes, restore vision, and activate your body's own mesenchymal stem cells, and much more. All of this occurs through the power of your body's own DNA and the expression of its genes. 
Our DNA forms the blueprint of who we are and consists of around 20,000 genes. These genes are small segments of DNA that provide instructions for building proteins. Throughout the day, various genes are switched on or off based on environmental and internal factors. When a gene is switched on, a process called transcription occurs. The first step of transcription is the stimulation of RNA polymerase, which is like a manufacturing plant that produces that gene's corresponding protein. This protein can then perform a wide range of biological functions, whether in a specific tissue, multiple tissues, or systemically. But what actually determines whether a gene is active or silenced at a given time? It's methylation status. Methylation involves the addition of a methyl group to a specific region of DNA, such as at CPG sites, where a cytosine is followed by a guanine in the DNA sequence. When one of these CPG sites is methylated, the associated gene is silenced. Around 70 to 80% of CPG sites in the human genome are usually methylated at a given time. And it's not an all or nothing either, as there can be partial methylations on a varying scale, which determine how silenced or active a certain gene is. We also have core promoter associated sites, which are responsible for facilitating the initiation of a transcription. When a promoter is methylated, the associated gene is inactive. In normal conditions, less than 10% of promoter regions are normally methylated at a given time, which means the majority of the promoter sites are in fact active and capable of driving gene transcription to varying degrees. That brings us to how Covenson's peptides control your DNA. So they can determine whether these regions are active or silenced, and to what degree. As shown in the image below, these peptides influence the epigenetic regulation of gene expression. It's important to understand that these Covenson's peptides work inside biological systems across the planet, whether humans, animals, or even plants, and they help to enhance the transcription of our genes. They are highly bioavailable, even orally, due to their small size and ability to be taken up by the receptors on the surface of our cells in our stomach and gastrointestinal tract called LAT and PEPT transporters. This confers a significant advantage compared to larger peptides or even some other smaller peptides, which can only transport through a passive diffusion process in the carbohydrate-rich outer layer of the cell membrane, which is both slower and less bioavailable. The Covenson's peptides are important in countering the effects of aging because as our cells begin to lose their identity, DNA damage accumulates, leading to the breakdown of larger structures as protein synthesis slows. Even if we are chronologically young, various factors can lead to an acceleration of our biological aging, as we have seen in the Dooned In studies, and as I have told in the beginning of this video with the elite military personnel. Things like environmental factors, poor nutrition, or high levels of stress, which cause our body's adaptation response to be overwhelmed and for toxicity to occur. Now let's take a closer look at how these peptides optimize DNA and cellular function. Inside our cells, we have DNA present in the nucleus. This DNA is in the form of chromosomes, which are the highly condensed, organized form of chromatin, made up of DNA wrapped around histones, so they can fit within the nucleus of the cell. In the image above, you can see our DNA, which includes epigenetic markers, such as methylation patterns. These can be determined with tests like Dunedin Pace or Horvath Clock. We also have histone proteins, which package DNA into chromosomes. What's particularly important is that histones can regulate how tightly or loosely the chromatin is packed. If you remember the book analogy, when it's too tight, heterochromatin, which is the analogy of books being placed on top of folders that can't open, genes become harder to access. This is often observed with aging or after many cellular divisions. On the other hand, when the chromatin is loose, euchromatin, in the book analogy, this would be with no books on the folders. Genes are more accessible, and this is something peptides can help achieve. However, this is not the only way they can exert beneficial effects on gene transcription. One example is the fact that livagen, a peptide from the liver, can increase protein synthesis in both young or old hepatocytes. This is due to the peptide's ability to directly activate gene transcriptions by binding within promoter regions of the DNA and initiating RNA polymerase, which transcribes the proteins that are coded by that gene. For example, pinealon and vylon bind to specific regions within the FNDC5 gene in various regions, which can be seen in the image below. In this case, FNDC5 codes for irisin. Irisin has been shown to increase telomerase, AMPK, and SIRT1, improving mitochondrial functioning and muscle growth, and supporting longevity and anti-cancer processes. However, there are many nuances with these peptides. As for example, epitalin also activates telomerase, however, it does so through the TERT gene promoter directly. 
Epitalin does not activate irisin. In conclusion, Covenson's peptides primarily restore gene expression to optimal levels through histone modifications and DNA methylation. In cases of excessive gene activity, they may suppress overexpression through targeted chromatin tightening and thus have a biphasic effect. They also bind directly to gene promoters and alter gene expression. Through these mechanisms, they act like signaling molecules, very similar to molecular nanotechnology, to assist your body's natural healing, regeneration, and anti-aging processes. Unlike some other peptides, Covenson's peptides are highly bioavailable when taken orally due to their ability to bind to LAT and PEP transporters on the cell surfaces. While this video focused on the epigenetic effects of Covenson's peptides, the reality is that most so-called experts don't even understand how to apply this science in the real world. And that's exactly why I created Peptide Mastery, the first and only course in the world that not only covers all 41 Covenson's peptides, but also includes an additional 31 peptides, bringing the total to 72. It's scientifically accurate, designed for real world use, and teaches the exact application strategies that leading experts have failed to figure out. If you've been trying to piece together information from random sources, let me save you years of frustration. Inside Peptide Mastery, you'll get access to over 50 precision peptide protocols, quick reference guides, cheat sheets, and over 400 citations, all structured for rapid mastery. Just go to peptides.link mastery or check the link in the description. And if you want personalized, high-level guidance, you can check out our health transformation program. Both Dr. Ali Moslem and I work with people who have been misdiagnosed, dismissed by doctors, or simply haven't found answers anywhere else. We routinely fix issues that doctors call impossible because we stay up to date with some of the most hidden health secrets. Just check the link in the description.